when they trying to run for re-election. You need to stay on them. You cannot let up. When they want you to come to buy a plate for $250 for you can fund their campaign, you need to be letting them know. We need these things done. Every day I wait for like my life on the line. Jungle in these streets, speak the beats are on the line. Hustle to increase, put it all on the line. House to spouse, family free to walk in yards on the line. Every day on the line. Every day. This ain't the first time our people didn't march or people didn't march with our people. Right. But, so, but see, now it, it, it comes all the way up until now. Things are moving. The chains are moving. I, I agree with that. I'm not disagreeing. I'm only just bringing this into play uh, for this purpose. It ain't just going down to the office. You need to stay on a bumper. You know what I mean by that? means you need to stay agitating them, still up at their office. When they trying to run for re-election, you need to stay on them. You cannot let up. When they want you to come to buy a plate for $250 for you can fund their campaign, you need to be letting them know. We need these things done. You know what well, I mean? Like a, demand, a demand list. You know, you know, you know, you know uh, yeah, you can say that priority list. That's how you got to stay on them, man. They don't make that bunch of money in those, working those government spots. They make, they make their best money when they get out of them spots or they create businesses. Like, so if I had, um, so I had a son that worked for the city of, I don't know, any any city, just a city. Right. You know, and he said, look, we got a contract for paving con um, walkways. I'm good. man, what are they giving us? We fight for a contract for, you know. 37 million. What? I'm finna go get some. I'm finna find out about cement and go create me a company. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna low bid everybody out and the bread come this way. Oh, it's kind of like the big uh, game. Uh, yeah, as I said, y'all understand political science, man. It's a, it's a uh, mecca. It's, 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 it's going on. So that's why I believe they make their most of their money from, they don't make it from the job itself. It's about the connections they make. Well, that's why they got people called lobbyists. Mm -hmm. And with a lobbyist is a person that's, the homie that come in, you know, is the homie that come in, uh, sit down and among everybody and hang out and hear what's going on and got got some bread and know some people and go back to the company and say, man, I, you know, we can get this done. Da, da, da. And he come back and tell them, look, man, uh, I hollered at the people from, uh, you know, French Fried Capital and they said, this, this, and that. And uh, here's his check. They going to give me this check. Okay, I'm going to hold that money. And take care of my boy when he get out of office. He can't get the money while he's in office. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, when he get out of office, I'm a, or or you can donate to the campaign. Well, see, you That's why you hear a lot of talking about, you know, when people say, why didn't take that check? You know, because where the money coming from, they following where the money coming from. Oh, yeah, the paper route. Well, exactly. They following where that see, money see, comes see, from. So that's of, where they get their bread from. You have people now who's new to this. You have some people who just started this, and unfortunately, this happened. So how do they bounce back? The, the small business owners, the communities, how do they bounce back from this? Because this is serious to us, man. Well, you know, I'm not no financial expert. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're going to they're gonna have to tighten their belt up, man, and do a lot of praying and, and a lot of muscle. They and, and putting their hustle. They're going to have to find for them PPEs they got. You're going to have to get to the bank. You're going to have to do more than you normally did prior to this. You know, so if you don't, if you don't get it, I think you might have to see, check all your resources, find someone, uh, find some people that, uh, you know, uh, if you go to a church or synagogue or mosque, you might have some people that work in there that probably can assist you with that or go to legal assistance. Uh, you know, Google up and find your lawyer or find your financial people and see if you can find somebody that can assist you with trying to get these loans. Most of these people that's connected or done they done they stuff right, they have uh, already contacted some of these people. Then some people are just naive to the game. That's in business, so they need to make those steps. We need to have a financial advisor come in uh, and and uh, explain to us about the resources available for those people that are small businesses. I think the problem is too. Maybe it's a trust issue. Trust issue with who? We as a community, we don't trust nobody to have our back because we've been shitted on, ran over on for so long. It's like who do we trust? That's the problem. Mm. We have to try to build trust with somebody, but, you know, for us, you know, not just us as blacks, I mean, Latinos, uh, people who are 
under poverty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the trust factor ain't there because you like you say you can go vote, but you know do you still whoa, whoa, whoa. do we believe you, you? It's like buying into the system. It's like 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 football, basketball. Your coach is telling you this. If you don't buy into the system, I'm not gonna play well for you. And next year I'm gonna be gone. So what what do we do as we getting back into the swing of things? Um, everything is pretty much simmering down with the riot and the protests and everything. People are ready to get back to their normal business and going back to the communities. But we going back to what? The same thing from last month. What are we going back to? Yeah, well, let me let me address uh, the vote. Why we brought voting up? Uh, create the initiative, and the initiative is to uh, prosecute law enforcement when they murder innocent, handcuffed people. I'm saying create a initiative to turn into a proposition and turn into a law. That where the person that does that and the people that's there that don't stop it, that's working. And then also in the courthouse and the prosecutor. Them two should be prosecuted themselves if they murder a handcuffed person or a, a person that without no weapon. Just flat out murder. Slaughter. On the same level as talk, a non-law. Non uh, uh, well, I talk something. if somebody got a weapon, that's that's a different thing. I don't want to mm -hmm. get into that. I'm only addressing the issue about a person that does not have a weapon that's handcuffed and you murder them. That's one thing I'm talking about right now. Right. Okay. So if you do that, you need to be convicted. It's like, because if we did it, you know why that's going to happen to us. Oh, yeah. We're going to be cuffed and stuff. You know, so it, it depends on the circumstances of how it went down. You know what I mean? I'm just talking about we was working and we murdered somebody handcuffed. You know, somebody was handcuffed and we murdered them. We're going to jail for that. Yeah, plus some. Yeah, so I'm just saying that they need to be prosecuted for that. And that create a law for that for them and a prosecutor as far as the prosecutor for the prosecutor not process not not convicting them, charging them up with charges. So it has to go inside the courthouse as, as well as in the streets. Create that bill, put that and make that go into law, then also hit them financially. Like uh financial means what yeah, those hit hit them financially, the prosecutor and the uh Street cops. So is that for is not that, is for that not kind of relating to now they got some of the defunding the police department. Is that kind of the you know the path that they're going on? Yeah, I don't think that's going to help them. I'm think the part no? defunding. I mean, not having so many cops. That's what you mean. You say defunding means that you're not going to pay the cops what their normal salary or something, or not have so. hire any more cops. Or I think what? they mean um, giving them a, a a bigger budget. Now they budget. No, you that? say defunding. That's I mean, what, that's what no they, defunding means to, to, to decrease. Okay, so how does that work? How does I that don't know. Help? I don't work how for. Is that going to help? I mean, how is that helping? Do you see it helping or hindering? Uh, if if they taking money from the police department, or the police department depends on where they taking that money from. So if they say the uh, city controller. A uh, city manager uh, who controls the bag, the bag meaning the money, the right. bread. Uh -huh. So if they say, well, we usually normally get in the this police department or sheriff department $300 million. That's their normal budget, $300 million for six months. Instead of doing that, we're going to take $100 million that and put it in the community. We're going to put it in the, in the urban community by creating programs for Black kids, black men, you know, black people, you know, some or, or Latin people or something like that. I can see them taking the money and bringing it down, down into the community and either hiring the same people that live in that community to be to police their own community. Meaning that you get somebody out of the hood that don't have a record to work, to work, to work, to work the same neighborhood. If I'm correct, on the East Coast, a lot of those uh Cops live in the same area. They grew up in them areas. So why would you not want a cop or police man or woman that's from where you grew up? Matter of fact, I got the answer. I'll tell you off air that somebody grew up in your city and became a lieutenant for the Compton PD, mm -hmm. a female. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to tell you a real story. He might know who it is, you know, but I'm going to tell you that. But you won't want somebody out your community you think that'll work? Yeah, you gotta know. You gotta know. You gotta know the people. You gotta know the if, if listen. 
You're going to talk different to these people. You're not going to come up to them and just be like, I'm, be afraid of them. You're going to know, oh, that's, they go to my church. Oh, damn. What's that? Now you're doing. You but, know. See, but see, now are you being biased? Because I know him, so I'm going to handle him a little different listen, than man. I would for somebody listen, listen. I didn't know. Because that's, what, that's what's going to come up next if that start happening. It, it's already happening for the other races. So, you know, so it's going to be like, well, you know, you want to get different when it comes to the black folk. Yeah, you're going to know some people. You might treat them a little bit different. If you look at all the video that you've seen that's been placed on the internet that you led to be, that's be real, where cops pull over certain people and tell them, look, like one I saw, this footage, where a cop had a lady pulled over and she was scared to death. And he said, he makes a remark of, we're only killing black people. Oh, shit. Yeah, if you look at the internet, that's his video. Now, I don't know if that was... Actual true footage or not, but I was led to be led to believe it was, and that's what he says to the lady. I was like, eh, well, I tell you one thing: technology is a blessing and a curse. It's catching stuff that, and people are recording things now more than ever. So now you see, like again, I say, now you see the act of the boogeyman. You see what he looked like, yep. you know. Now you're like, damn, that's different. Yeah, that's how that went down. If you look at those um, door ringer cameras they got now on the doors. Mm -hmm. You see, those who got that app, that you know, I'm not gonna promote their stuff unless they want to run advertisement on the on the digital show by network on the line and or on the network for the other shows that we have. Yeah, ring, holla at, holla at the boss. Come down here, and we like to advertise the ring doorbell. But they had those cameras on there. There's other ones as well, but I just brought that one up. That sees a lot of people getting their cars broken into. You can p tap the app on, look and see. Well. I can see who coming. I can see them breaking in my car. I, you know what I mean? You had that footage right. now. Just like One, the, the, the shit they wear. Oh, yeah, the cameras, the right. uh, uh, body cams on the cops. So I, I'm saying that to say that a lot of more things are being more recorded now than ever and it's put on the internet like this show. We had an opportunity to have this this uh, format and have a, it put on the internet where somebody could click. You Google up Digital Soul by Network, like all the shows that's on the network, and we want to be one of the shows on the network, or they can go to YouTube and, look, and pull it down, or they can go to Apple uh, Music, whatever it is, they got the podcast show on there, they can hear the audio version, right. or Spotify, you know what I mean? So a lot of things are more accessible now than once before, so now we get this, a lot of people more get to see it, it travels quicker, the rumor goes faster, like you said something about down south when they had those... Uh, 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 the riots back then, how they had to endure oh, yeah, through all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I make, I, I'm, as, I'm, as I'm listening to you talk, I'm thinking about my dad. God bless his soul, rest in peace. He's out the country. My uncle's from my, my dad's side, they're all from the South. And I remember one, one uh, thing that I, you know, that my dad was part of them, I think it was Mobile. When they had the march, yeah, he had the march to uh, uh, Mobile. That uh, he always you know, thought he had a hit, you know, he got hit in the head, whatever, and you know. It went down. They got to scrapping with them. You know what I mean? Some folks lost their lives probably or some injuries took place. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, it did. Yeah, and the repercussion for that. So that was like some real stuff going on back down in the South. So I'm just saying today, you know, it wasn't just black people marching. No. There no. was other races marching with the black folks. So marching is, is, is one step. The same people that march and protest be the same people go to the polls when the initiative is created to change the law. So they issue some, uh, I can't use the correct term, about the chokehold and, and this and that. that. Right. right, so okay. That ain't law. That's like just local. We need that, We need to go law in the, in, the, in the law books, the state and federal, whatever. You do this and you work for, the, or you're a prosecutor or you're a cop and you do these things right here, you will be prosecuted like a street criminal. But see, they need that to be a blanket law, not see, just now, a mayor now or saying, well, I'm going to talk to my guys and tell them, don't do that. Now you're saying get people from the neighborhood to police the neighborhood. Yes. I, so I'm, I would, okay, now we figure in these cops that's doing this to us, you run a background check like, damn, man, you got five, six cases of doing this and nobody said nothing. So my question to you is when they decide to do that, to get people from the neighborhood to police the neighborhood... How do you go by choosing, okay, because you can't, you know, choose somebody like me. Nah. Well, you know, a person like you, I don't think we'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> this is not going to be doing. That's what I'm saying. Every day I wait for like my life on the night. Jungle in these streets, put the beats on the night. Hustle to increase, put it all on the night. Talk to spouse, family, freedom, walk through your
yards on the lot every day. On the lot every day, 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 every day. On the lot.